Can you regrow knee cartilage by jumping? Next time someone tells you that you'll pay for all that running and jumping when you're older, send them this study. This is one of the coolest studies I've read this year. It's from the Microgravity Journal in Nature. They wanted to look at the effects of jumping versus prolonged non-weight bearing on knee cartilage. They used three groups of mice, a sedentary control group, a jumping group, and a hind limb suspended group. Basically, the jump group performed multiple box jumps that progressed in height and volume over eight weeks, while the hind limb suspended group couldn't use their back legs for eight weeks. Yeah, it's a little cruel, but I didn't design the study. Here's what was super interesting. The jump group developed thicker knee cartilage and bone density, while the non-weight bearing group lost cartilage and basically developed arthritis. There's two things I really love about this. Number one, there's a potential to restore cartilage health in conditions like chondromalacia. And number two, it reinforces the benefits of jumping for bone health, which has implications for people with osteoporosis or at risk of osteoporosis. Obviously, it's a mouse study, not a human study, so we can't assume that we'll undergo the same changes, but it's pretty encouraging for people with knee pain or cartilage issues, considering that current cartilage treatments just aren't super effective. If you're dealing with knee pain, I have a free 10-page guide that breaks down some of the most important considerations, tests, and strategies that you can use to start making progress. Click the link in my bio for access.